My name is Tim Maria, host of Digital Health Live here at CS 2015 here at the WebMD Wellness Lounge and Studio. Awesome place. And we got my friend John Nasta with Nasta Lab. How you doing, John? I'm doing good. I'm uh, exciting times here at Vegas. I was checking out the Twitter stream and you always seem like you're advancing at, at least at the top couple slots there. And uh, part of the, the, what I call the the social media rat pack with you, Scoble, and Daniel Kraft. So it's kind of a compliment. We're here in Vegas, gonna talk about the rock that's, guys. That's what? tomorrow. Yeah, that's tomorrow. Our, that's our first meeting. Scoble's gonna be here. All right. And um, you know, it's interesting because Scoble gives you the outsider perspective. Yeah. And you know, he's not a clinician, he's not an engineer. Yeah. He really has nothing to do with health. Yeah. But he's of the age and of the temperament that it's all relevant to him now. He yeah. becomes the quintessential His customer. body is falling apart like, like mine as soon yeah. as you between, hit 40. Between, between the three of us, I don't think we have a normal body when you add yeah. it all together. You cool. know, but. So, yeah. um, first of all, for those who don't know you, what is your background? Uh, I you am be an EMT back I'm a day. frustrated scientist. My background yeah. was, uh, I was in an MD-PhD program, studied cardiovascular physiology. Yeah. And much to the dismay of my parents, I left to become a writer. Okay. And for the past 20 years, I focused on the empowerment. I'm struggling with this mic it's today, huh? Yeah. I've, I've, for the past 20 years, I've looked at empowering innovation through communication. Yeah. So, you know, it's the idea, you can build it, but will they come? You can communicate it. Yeah. And, and that's sort of my challenge with digital health. So what's health. interesting here is we see a lot of innovation and a lot of uh, interesting products that are coming to the market, but I'm really curious to see what sticks. Yep. Well... I think that the fundamental reality of, of build it and they will come is inconsistent with the clinical model. What we're seeing is yeah. that, that activity trackers, Fitbits, all these really beautiful, wonderful devices like Shine, yeah. are built more for sort of the athlete. And I don't know yeah. if the 60-year-old guy with metabolic syndrome is going to put a tracker on yeah. because there's no clinical impairment. Uh, there's no clinical imperative, and that that's the disconnect for me. Yeah, it seems like there's consumer-grade products, yeah. and we're trying to change behavior with those products. But really, it's kind of a, more of a sports type yeah, of target exactly. market. Yeah, exactly. I think that with the emergence of things like nanotechnology where microparticles can detect disease before it's clinically overt. Yeah. So the first cancer cell. When I can wear a tracker that's going to tell me that my prostate cancer is back or breast cancer has recurred, those now elevate to the level where it's a clinical imperative that I am not going to leave my house okay. without my disease tracker. Yeah. So I think those are some of the fundamental changes that we're going to probably see over time. It's okay. going to be an interesting kind of emergence. Now you worked in New York in advertising, uh, Ogilvy, yep. and are moving on and, and working with, what are you doing now with your time? One of the things that I've found is that a lot of the digital health companies, A, fall in love with their product. So if you look at an ad for Brand X, whatever it is, it's a picture of the product or it's a picture of a smiling patient. So I think that fundamentally, the thing that's missing from a lot of startups because they can't afford it yeah. is good marketing, good solid positioning. Who's my audience? You know, how much of, of the clinician do I have to get involved? So I've really taken a, a stab at building a, a, a marketing plan around empowering really good innovations. Yeah. So you're going to kick off the day tomorrow. We will be up in the digital health conference area. Yep. And uh, how do people connect with you? John Nasta at Twitter. I'm always there. I, I live it, as you know. Yep. We are good Website. buddies. Uh, JohnNasta.com and NastaLab.com. All right. Well, that's John Nasta. Thanks for coming down. Good to see you.